From bears to fish now, and the sockeye salmon in the Harrison River, could they hold the secret to why B.C. salmon stocks are crashing everywhere else? Here's Jill with tonight's Insight. Jill. Well, Chris, a growing number of groups are calling on the federal government to do more to save B.C.'s crashing wild salmon populations. Scientists and citizens alike are concerned that continued inaction could result in the loss of one of this province's most valuable and precious resources. But while most of our salmon are in crisis, one run on the Harrison River is thriving. And as Linda Aylesworth reports, it may hold the answers as to why so many others are failing. A disturbing number of B.C. spawning streams and rivers are eerily quiet this season. Salmon runs throughout the province are crashing. It's a fact reflected by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans' own numbers. On the Fraser River alone, where over 10 million sockeye were expected to return, only 1 million made it home. And yet, here on the Harrison River, a tributary of the Fraser, an anomaly. Harrison Rapids fish are a little bit different. They're coming back in strength, and I'm referring to sockeye salmon. But why are they thriving when so many other salmon runs have virtually disappeared? We don't know, and that's why I think we have to find out. The sockeye here are so unique, and given that they're thriving in the circumstances we're seeing today, I think they're going to be really key to future efforts to try and rebuild other sockeye stocks. So there's a lot to be learned from these fish. And so DFO technicians and BCIT fish and wildlife students teamed up today to get a better idea of their numbers by tagging not only the sockeye, Pretty impressive. <laughs> but other salmon species like these enormous Chinook. In spite of the fact that they also began and will end their lives in the Harrison, Chinook numbers are crashing here. So what are the Harrison sockeye doing right? Perhaps the secret to their survival is in their genes. Or maybe they're able to avoid potential hazards when they leave the river as vulnerable juveniles. The question on everybody's lips is, is it sea lice? Uh, somewhere between uh, the rivers and the open Pacific, there's that, that sort of middle section that these fish are subject to mortality. If sea lice are to blame, then the fact that juvenile Harris and Sockeye don't migrate north past salmon farms like most other Fraser River salmon do, this according to a soon-to-be-released government report, could explain a few things. But the Salmon Farmers Association insists they are not the problem. And they add that declining wild salmon populations in B.C. is a serious problem that deserves the full attention of all British Columbians. If you're wondering why you should care about magnificent wild salmon runs like this, then think about the many species that depend on them for survival, like our killer whales, our bears, and our eagles. And then there's our livelihoods. Many are concerned that not nearly enough is being done to save them. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a crisis the government should re be responding to, and we've heard absolutely nothing from the government. Peter Julian recently addressed his concerns to the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans in Ottawa. The NDP member should at least wait until we present our plan before he starts to criticize anything. The minister has not held a summit or provided funding to move to closed containment for fish farms. The minister has not undertaken any meaningful action to address this crisis. I think looking at what's happened this year, it's highlighted the importance of science even more. And I don't think we've made a big enough investment in science in past. If it's sea lice, let's figure it out. Let's get all the information on the deck and uh, talk about it. Uh, if it's something else, uh, let's figure it out. But, you, you, you know, let's get past the politics. So while sockeye stocks are booming in the Harrison, for the most part, salmon spawning rivers throughout the rest of the province are crashing, especially the Fraser River. Now, the focus is on the Fraser because it has the largest spawning river and has historically been the biggest producer of sockeye salmon in the country. There was a time when more than 100 million sockeye returned each year. But for the last three years, the Fraser has had record low runs. This year, well, over 10 and a half million were expected to return to the river. Just 1.3 sockeye salmon showed up. Obviously, the cause for major concern, Chris.